What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic. I want to thank everyone for all the love and support on this series. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content if you enjoy, you know. But only if. Or just do it. You never know. You never know what you like. You never know. I might I might hit a, I hit a chord. You know what I'm saying? Folks, we are back on the modern home. I'm chilling in my Mercedes Benz made by the Cubic Seveners. And this is going to be the inspiration for when we build a car here for our ride. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be the Grego mod, or it could be Grego mod, and then I'll just add it to the workshop and then delete it so that the everyone can uh, enjoy the home and build their own cars in there as well. I, I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a vanilla car and a modded car, you know? I like the modded, modded blocks, making sports cars, making sports cars, vroom vroom, vroom vroom. I'm digging it though. I dig it. I gave it a little paint job. It was all black with a little bit of gray mixed in there. So now we got to make it pearly white because we're fancy. And a little bridge. You know, just like a sports car, man. You can't put it on any kind of major curve. No curbs. No curbs allowed. Otherwise, it'll get stuck. So, let's go ahead and we'll pop on out. I don't know why I did that because I can just hop on out because it's convertible, y'all. It's convertible, y'all. All right. Now, this home is almost complete. Now, what we have to do is one more thing on the top of there, and then it's all detail work from there on out, just trying to make it look pretty. Um, and then we also have to, I keep forgetting, we have to do a back patio as well. So we go in here, into our living room. This still has to get worked on. Got to put a pool or something, man. Gotta have a place too late. We're gonna have to elevate it a little bit too, and then possibly have a little bit of like a beach, a little beach, maybe a beach volleyball pit. And then, like I said, we have the detail work that goes uh, gonna go around. We can't just leave this as one strictly white house. That's not, that's not very pretty. That's not very pretty at all. So let's go ahead and we'll close you up. Beautiful man. It's beautiful. Let's go through the kitchen area here. Someone asked, uh, what, where's the refrigerator? This is what I have the refrigerator as. Uh, I just have a bunch of blocks here. I could possibly just m remove these and just make it all whole inside, but it's seamless. And I like it. I like it like that. I like it like that. So, Diesel, what have you done today? Well, we were working on a game room. And I left some blocks in the center. <laughs> um... It is for sure a work in progress. Now when I say detail work, this is definitely going to need some extra detail work, but I was laying down the groundwork for exactly what I wanted to, to do and think about. So we have our giant window space here, and of course the ugliest block in the game, the glass tile. So uh, I have a pool table here. It's fancy. We got the little six uh, six cylinder here, the little uh, six cylinder, the three uh, pipes six cylinder. I don't know why I keep thinking engine parts. So uh, in between the green and the felt, uh, we just placed those tri uh, tri joints there to kind of simulate the uh, the balls, the holes going in the balls. Now, of course, we don't have any round balls, so I just put some tile cubes and painted them in random colors. We got the eight ball, uh, red, yellow, and of course, cube ball as well. So we have the piping that goes around to make the bumper, and then, oh, hmm. so I just keep on forgetting to do a whole lot of stuff now, don't I? Hmm. Come on, Diesel. Get your crap together. I know, right? I know. Stop being so silly. All right, let's go ahead and we'll paint just the corners so that everything looks like it is a part of the table and it's not just like the separate thing. Give it, make it cohesive. There we go. I like that. So. And then the uh, little bar around here just adds a little bit of extra detail for the pipes. Uh, everything just attaches straight to the ground. Nothing too cray cray in the brain brain. Doesn't hurt the head. On top of the head, uh, on top of our heads, we have our ceiling fan. Now we do have to place some sort of ceiling fixture, some sort of art piece that kind of makes it and ties this room a little bit together because that's just a blank white space with a ceiling fan in the center of it. So I wanted to put the ceiling fan right in the center there, but I also am going to have to put some sort of pattern or design above the top. And we have to watch out for the roof and the, uh, the walkway here, the catwalk, because we're too sexy for our shirts, too sexy for our shirts, so sexy it hurts. So. 
hit that button. 360. 360 no scope. Fans. Beautiful. And you just keep that on. And have your boys over. Because we have our bar with two flat screens. And those flat screens have... Uh, there we go. Hold on, let's hit that. We'll go behind the back. Flat screens are, have a little bit of a tilt to it. All of our controllers are going into that one clo our controller closet. So CC. We're going to CC it. CC it. I'm, I'm like a shadow priest. Let's CC. Uh, or a mage. Oh. Pulling out some World of Warcraft stuff. Who's ready for World of Warcraft? Not me. <laughs> it's, been a long, it's been a while since I've played some World of Warcraft. Because... Uh, I almost lost my wife. No, seriously. Seriously, but not seriously. Seriously, she loves me. But seriously, she was like, you need to quit this game. And I'm like, you got it. So, uh, enough about World of Warcraft. But we have uh, these flat screens put on a little bit of a tilt so that when you're sitting and chilling, and you also can't jump out of the bar here. So, it makes you have to go over to here and use the little functionality. And then that'll automatically close after five seconds. Or six seconds. Somewhere around abouts. Around about. And to get into the controller closet, we just have one door that will be able to get you into the closet and work on your stuff. Uh, I've kind of coordinated most of this stuff, but I'm missing some colors. So we'll have to tie it all together towards the end. Towards the end. Very lovely. Um, also, with our bottles, we have our bottle bottle service. This is my, you know, my idea of bottles in scrap mechanics. Just two pipe joints with the pipe topper. I don't know if that's what you call it. What do you call it? What do you call it? A valve. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is the word. That is the word I'm thinking of. So now when I say that we're going to have to do some detail work, we're going to have to put something along the bottom here, but I can't like put the pipes. See over here I have the pipes kind of looking like it's holding that up so it just doesn't look like it's this free roaming space. Also this window uh, where am I going? Uh, uh, uh. This window is a pretty cool feature that people could see out. But when we have, when we go up here, there is no window, so that when we look from the outside, there's this blank space right there. But I've also added a little bit of detail to accentuate the uh, outside of the ba area there, and. It's not symmetrical. So what happens when you don't make anything symmetrical? Make it an art piece. So that's exactly what I did. I decided to just I was like this is not even and it's not going to it's not going to mesh well with what I have in mind. It's just going to look weird. So I was just like, okay. Uh, let's just uh, you know, let's make it kind of nifty. So what I'll have to do up here where the railing is, I'll have to put another piece uh, a window, if you will, and we'll have to make it go across. That way, it looks like it's a zigzag and it doesn't look so weird just by itself. Because here, you can definitely tell it's uneven. But if we put another window up there, it'll make it look like uh, I meant to do it. <laughs> and that's all that matters, really. Oh, this guy is so smart. Yeah, kind of, by accident. Let's not get crazy here, folks. Sometimes accidents happen. And the beautiful, let's just put those wings down. That thing was annoying me. All right. So let's hop on in, boom, back into the fray. Tell you what, this is all really coming together nice. But how can we pay the bills? You know, how how can we entertain? How can we reach the World Wide Web's, the internets? Well, over here, I have the pool cues. This is what it represents: the pool cues and a little brace to hold all the pool cues in. Uh, I need to put some light in here. A lot, like I said, a lot of details that I need to work on. Uh, Soon, soon, soon. Um, whoa, okay. So we'll have to put some pieces up there. I just realized that, that entire space right there is all open. But yet, it's closed right there. Hmm. That'll be fine. We'll figure something out. I'm crafty. So, we need to get on the World Wide Webs. We need to entertain. We need to start building stuff some scrap mechanics. So, uh, so people ask for a secret door. So this is my version of a secret door. It doesn't really look secret because it looks like a door. Because it is a door. But these are supposed to be pool cues. Like, oh man, it's so cool. But then you hit this. You were supposed to do something. Ah, uh, hold on here. Hit this button. Ah, uh, hold on here. We're going to do some tweaking. I thought I had fixed this. Fixed, fixed, fixed. Okay, so one two 
buckle my shoe. Let's go in here. And that is going to, yeah, that's going to you. Bang. So, what we're going to do is that's going to go 45. Ah, uh, it's gonna go 90. Let's go 30, 30, and 30. It'll open slowly for us, and then it will give us a couple seconds to get in, and then we'll just go oh, 45, 45, and I'll just bring it back down again. How about that? Think that's gonna be okay? I think it's gonna be all right. So this way, we can pull this lever down, and then it seems like the door just opens up the secret room into the diesel designs. Recording studio for video games. Of course, you gotta have skulls. More detail work's gonna go in here as well. It just seems like uh, I'm putting some detail, detail, you know, just putting the basis. But let me uh, kind of just go over the gist of this room in general. We gotta paint this black. I see a red door, and I want it painted black. Uh, boom, and then uh, ha boom. So we have our computer system right here uh, that goes and links into neon green. And then we have a triple screen setup here that you can kind of see, but not really. But it's fine, because when the computer screens turn on, you know, everything's everything. Our computer desk is made out of signs. So if you go and you have these pipes, tri-pipes, and then you just build one regular pipe and then one tri-pipe. Let me just show you. In case you don't know, and, and if you don't know, and now you know. So let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll take your little sign here. We'll grab your little sign. Think it's special? Huh? Want to fight about it? Okay. So if you take this, and then you put this bad boy right here, and then you take that, and then you place that right there, you can take these, boom, and you can make yourself a flat table, and that'll be really nice. That's super special for you, you know? The only problem is you can't set anything on them. So when it comes to buttons, or chickens, or, or birdies and cluck clucks, you can't Put anything on these. It's kind of a drag. I'm not sure if you can do it on any other ones. I'm not sure if you can actually place things on certain signs. Never tested it out. Let's do some testing. No, it doesn't look like you can do anything. But you can make a table. And you know, it may be suit one of your builds. Instead of having the just the thick, the thick like uh, brick or thick uh, wood, just the regular, the regular blocks we deal with. You just want to make a nice little flat surface, by all means. And then you can paint it white, I painted it white. Um, and the controllers that control everything in this room when it comes to the sensors for the VR. Oh, we got an HTC Vive set up with our sensors in the corner, so that way we can get our room space here. That's the reason why this is all clear, so I can do my VR setup. Uh, we have the wires painted neon green. We got the double D for the diesel designs. And we put a little design there and some little lights with our neon green. I'm a big fan. We also have our speakers set up to play some music. Very, very, I'm, I'm gifted. I'm gifted when it comes to the music. And last but not least, our chair that is on a little bit of a tilt, as you can see, just like kind of computer chair it usually should be. Uh, just a bit, you know, you know, lean back, just get a little lean back going here, and that is, uh, it's going 25 one way, 25 the other way, so it goes, this one goes back 25, meanwhile this stays forward, uh, you have to put that 25, otherwise it's just going to lean black flat, we don't want it to go flat, we just want it to give a little, have it look like it's giving a little give, give and give, we're giving give, hey, give and take, give and take some love right here, so let me know what you think about this build in the comment section down below with also possibly a like, that would be ever so lovely, 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 now where are these going again, 25, 45, 25, oh, those are the, uh, the sensors, so this way I can tilt those and make them, uh, put them into the corner, these sensors really don't go to anything, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Might have to try and build some sort of vibe setup, which I doubt I'll be able to do. But uh, it's got to be tiny. Can't really put too many tiny things in here. Um, also, you know, we got our green screen, and one of these controllers over here goes over to these lights, which point onto the green screen. Because if you have a green screen, you have to light it up. Otherwise, no one can key. You can't key your uh, key your green screen and tilt it out. Now. This button here goes to a completely different controller, goes to a different section. The uh, 
this door hinges on this part, but not this bar right there. So that way, when I hit the switch on the right side, this turns and turns the whole thing. And if I hit this switch right here, it'll turn this one. So that way, we can exit without issue. And then that will close automatically. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Ah, so pretty, so nice. So, we're almost done. Well, with the house, it is, you know, that is. But, I mean, we're, we're talking like hours of detail work along with... Uh, we also have to build, we have to make another window here, which won't be very hard. You know, I'm just going to make a window, pop it down. Uh, we also have to put our little patio here with a little jacuzzi area, a little private area for all of your party goers, your friends, maybe some ladies. Hey, gonna, let's go, we're going to go hang on the jacuzzi. You know what I mean? I'm going to make a jacuzzi. We have maybe a little wet bar in the corner here. I think that would look nice. I think that's going to look real nice. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, a uh, little, you know, Detail work on the outside as well as making the patio and pool for you and for me and I'm locked out here. That's something I forgot to work on. Yeah, you can't once this goes, once this opens and okay, once this closes, you can't really uh you gotta go gotta go around, which is fine because we have a water feature and this looks so stupid now. It was so dumb. This tile. I'll figure something out. I figure it out. Let's turn off this, uh... Oh, oh, yeah, let's close that door. And then we'll close you. Stop you. Good boy. Okay. So, there we go. Folks, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Helps my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, like shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in my modern home here in Scrap Mechanic. Oh god. Next time. <laughs> Watch out for the house there, player. Watch out for the house, homie. Look out for the big car. Look out for the big car. Ho! Oh.